Okay, today I'm going to be showing you a weird experiment how fish bile can make paper swim. So a few months back, somebody emailed me with a link to a YouTube video. The YouTube channel is called Happy DIY, and it's a kid that does science experiments, it looks like. In one of the experiments, his mom was cooking fish for dinner that night. He got the fish gallbladder from the fish, cut it open, soaked some papers in it and let it dry. And then when he put those papers in water, the papers just started spinning around in circles really fast. So they wanted to know if I could recreate that and see if I could have an explanation for why it's happening. So I've never seen that experiment before in my life. So I'm gonna have to try to recreate it and see if I can figure out why it's happening. So before cooking it up for dinner, I went ahead and saved the gallbladder from it. Okay, so I've collected my fish bile from the gallbladder here. So bile is created in the liver, but it's collected in the gallbladder. And what the bile does is it helps break down fats when it's secreted into the small intestines. But apparently it also has some interesting properties where it can make papers swim in water. So let's go ahead and test out our fish bile here. So I'll cut up some papers. Okay, let's soak these in our bile here. So on his video, he says, let these dry for a few hours or a few days, dot, 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 or. So I don't know what the or is. I'm assuming or just dry them with a hair dryer. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's test it out. Hey, it works. <laughs> so it does work. But then once I've done it once, when I put them in again, it doesn't work. But then if I get some fresh water, let's see if it works. Well, look at that little one spinning. So that's interesting. It needs fresh water every time the experiment's been done. So that gives me a hint of what this might actually be doing. So bile salts have a hydrophobic end and a hydrophilic end. That means that one side of the molecule likes to be around water and the other side doesn't like to be around water. That's similar to soap. So if this reaction has something to do with the hydrophobic and the hydrophilic ends of the bile salts, then that means that I should be able to get the same reaction with just soap. So let's see if that's true. Okay, so now instead of bile, I'll just mix in some Dawn soap with them. And then I'll dry them out. Okay, now let's see if I get the same reaction. Whoa! <laughs> Even better than the gallbladder juice. Now let's see if I stick another one on, it works. Nope, that one didn't really work. So it has to be fresh water each time. So here's, some, here's the fresh water. Whoa, look at it buzz around. <laughs> That's awesome. So the reason this is happening is because every time the soap soaks into the water, it spreads out across the surface. And I can show you that that's actually happening. So I'm just gonna put some water on this plate here. and then put some pepper on it. Okay, and watch what happens when I put a drop of soap in it. <laughs> so see how it just spreads out and it even pushes the pepper away? So what happened here is that soap, just like the bile, has a hydrophobic end and a hydrophilic end. So the hydrophobic ends, they all pack together because they don't want to be towards the water and the hydrophilic ends, they like the water, so they poke down inside of the water. And so what that ends up happening is you have these long chains that all point upwards, and they line up and they spread outwards on top of the water. And because there's billions and billions and billions of these molecules, they spread out across the surface with such a force that it, it can even push these pepper particles out of the way. So my guess is this is what's happening with this fish bile here. When you soak these little papers in the fish bile, they're a concentrated source of it. 
And just like you saw it do to this pepper here where it wanted to spread out, it wants to spread out on top of the water and so it pushes the paper away from it. And because the paper is the source of it, it kind of rides the wave of these molecules spreading out on the surface of the water, so it continually gets pushed by it in random directions. And it works best when the concentration of the bile or the soap is not even across the whole paper, because then it creates an uneven force which causes it to spin or buzz around on the surface. And these are molecular forces, but it's really cool that you can see it on a macro scale like this, where it can push pieces of paper or even push pepper out of the way. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. And you can leave me any comments or questions you have in the comments section, and I'll try to get to them. And even leave me any suggestions you have, and I'll try to get to them. And thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.